Okay, here we go. The last watch list video for 2016. The next time I make a watch list video will be Monday night because the market is closed Monday. So the next actual trading day will be Tuesday, January 3rd. All right, so this is uh, tomorrow is the last trading day for 2016. Um, and the next time I make a video, our sale, our 60% off sale on our trading course will be over. So um, this is my last alert to you guys. Um, I don't believe we're ever going to do 60% off again. Um, with 2017 looming, a lot of people making those New Year's resolutions. If you want to change your trading around to where you only trade a couple hours each morning and you want to dramatically improve your winning percentage and your daily profits, you really need to take advantage of 60% off trading uh, on our trading course, which we are holding on January 28th. Our course can absolutely help you achieve those things. Um, and I think it'll open your eyes uh, to, to really where what you're doing wrong and why you're wasting your afternoons away when you should be getting your daily goal in that first two hours and then going about your, your life, right? Actually having a life in addition to trading. So um, also real quick from today, you know, on my watch list or on my results page, I often uh, like pick one or two stocks from the day and put it up as a highlight. Um, and so I really, I, I know that I'm doing myself a disservice because I could go through the chat room and pick out a whole bunch of calls and put five, six, seven, eight calls up there on the results page each night. And the reason I don't, this is so sad, the reason I don't is back to that, I wanna have a life. So I don't spend my evenings doing that. I just grab one and say, oh yeah, like today, um, you know, oh yeah, ELGX was good. It was low risk, it had a nice run. But literally none of these three we're on the results page, um, but these were three really nice trades for me. So it just kind of goes to show you the teamwork in our chat room, right? Um, people are finding ideas. Actually, I found dry ships in CNAT, CNAT, um, Ramesh, and I think uh, Buffalo in the room uh, alerted CETX. And uh, actually, that was probably my best trade. That was my best trade of the day. So the teamwork in there is fantastic. Um, and I could spend, like I said, an hour every night going back and, and, uh, and, and posting results from uh, trades that were posted in the room and giving people props and everything. I'm just flat out too lazy. I don't wanna do it, I wanna have my evening. So um, the trading room has, I honestly believe the best teamwork on the planet. And I also believe you'll love our trading course if you take it and I think it'll turn your trading around if you're struggling. Um, so what I have for Friday um, again, the SPY narrow range today, kind of hanging out right at the 20 day. So what I've come up with for Friday, it's not a very big list and it's the last trading day of the year. Last thing I want to do is something stupid on the last day of the year. Um, my account's at an all time high and I'm going to try to finish out my year that way. Right. Um, but ELGX had a nice pop today. I actually called this one long over, uh, right here over 550 with a dime stop. And you can see it ended up going through 640 and really kind of flagged all afternoon. So that's why it goes back on watch. Um, it was really decimated coming into today and had a nice pop today. So maybe that one catches a bit again tomorrow. Um, keep in mind, uh, only with a proper intraday setup. KOOL was my huge miss du jour. This met all of our parameters as a gap play. It was stupid spready. So, and a lot of people pointed that out. It was really stupid spready. So to get in it, you probably would have had, you know, to take something that had like dime spreads at the time, but it ended up going crazy. Um, and it has a history of that. You can see here, here, here. So gapping up this morning on, I think an insider purchase, um, I probably should have closed my eyes and just bought, but it, you know, it did meet our entry parameters. I just missed it. I was looking at something else. Um, but that one, I'm going to put it back on watch for tomorrow. Now, one thing I would note, if you look at all these big pops, you very, I don't know if you ever on any of these big pops, see a second day follow through. Um, so keep that in mind. That's relevant, right? This stock, uh, you could argue maybe this pop had a follow through, but this wasn't really a big pop. This, these big volume, if you look at all the big volume candles, um, the next day it didn't follow through on any of them. So keep that in mind. That makes me like this a lot less, but anything can happen. So it's still worth putting on a chart. CNAT um, is pretty far away from the moving averages. It did. I did make some money in this one today. Um, made about 500, a little over 500 bucks in it, but it didn't follow through the way I had hoped. It just goes back on watch for tomorrow. If you watched our free webinar, um, I think it was on December 20th, so nine days ago, on inflection points, you know, keep that in mind when you're watching some of these stocks trade. I'm looking for 
these to set up as you know an intraday inflection point type setup so keep that in mind if you wonder what the heck are they doing with these during the day what are they looking for for go back and watch that webinar um, you'll start to get an idea of some of the things we look for okay um, so that's CNET DRAM actually held up fairly well today again it's still kind of far from the moving averages but it did close above its open um, I'm gonna watch it but I, I feel like that one's extended still goes on watch um, Weight Watchers did catch a little bit of a bid today uh, talked about this one coming into today and it never really gave any kind of great entry so I never did trade this one but I do like the green candle here and possibly a higher low after the gap up right you had to pop and now maybe you're putting in a higher low um, I'm definitely gonna watch that tomorrow see if it gets any kind of volume and any kind of setup MBRX biggest volume day ever three sessions ago and now two days lower um, on very little volume that one might catch a bid tomorrow SGY was on bounce watch today didn't give any setup that we look for so guess what it just goes back on bounce watch for tomorrow um, and then lastly I have live live huge move and then the gap up you know got parabolic and then the gap up but now you've got two big down days I want to start watching that one um, again if it gives me an intraday setup that one might give a trade I'm gonna caution you last time I watched this was I don't even think I watched it today but the day before um, today was really crazy spready so I'm not that interested in this one it's gonna have to give me an amazing setup before I'll even touch it so this is probably my least favorite on the list but it might just turn back up tomorrow for a trade remember I'm a day trader I don't hold anything overnight I don't even hold my wife overnight okay I'm in cash every night and I make my money on having the right kind of watch list um, then waiting for inflection points getting involved paying myself quickly on some keeping the stop you know tightening my stop protecting my entry on the rest and that has given me a very very good winning percentage and a very very good year for that matter um, and so that's my style so I don't want uh, you know I don't want to get emails saying hey this chart sucks on the daily it's down below this moving average I don't care I'm just looking for intraday trades tomorrow. I'll be back in cash before the close, I promise you. All right. Enjoy the rest of your evening. We'll talk to you guys tomorrow.